Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace of Dis- Why? Susato's <laughs> <laughs> in your head the whole time. Yes! Yes, she is! And I love her, she's so cute! <laughs> Hiya! Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. My name is Kitty Minnie. <laughs> and I'm Inferno. Last episode, um... We solved like just a couple puzzles, and we uh, got into this new t full sense, uh, this new town, and it's started making us feel kind of dizzy. So Flora's back home, um, resting. Well, in a hotel. Oh, well, in a hotel, which just looks really nice. And the music's really good too. I like it. Yeah, this place literally lit up like in front of us, and we're like, what? Like, whoa, what? <laughs> whoa. Alrighty. Everything I've seen uh, leads me to believe that Dr. Schrader visited, visited Fulsense. The Elysian box and the fact and the facts we need to solve this mystery of his death. Solve the mystery of his death, okay. Um, solve the mystery of his death are close by. I'm sure of it. I English. You, you English? Well, I also think doing the Great Ace Attorney has helped my British accent just a little bit. Because um, <laughs> that was a lot of characters. Uh, do you think whoever stole the Elysian box, uh, Elysian box should be hiding here as well? It's still too early to tell. But I, but I'll know more if we can figure out why Dr. Schrader ventured out here in the first place. For now, our best course of action is to search for anything connected to the Elysian box. Let's get to it then. Lead the way, Professor. Alrighty. I think we can actually go back to where the train is. Oh, really? Is there a puzzle there? there? Wasn't, well, there was an arrow that... Oh, uh, um, but yeah, there is an arrow leading it downward, so it's like... Oh. Whoa. Professor, the train still stopped at the station. There's not a soul inside. Then it seems we have no choice but to remain in town. All the more reason to proceed with our... Uh, to proceed with our investigation in an area. Uh, I guess so. Okay, let's keep looking. That's ominous! <laughs> that is super ominous. Okay. Sir? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just... <sighs> Can you read for Rory? Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. Oh my god. It's... Ear, his head is literally covering his like top half of head. Yeah. It's like he accidentally <laughs> slid. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? This is gonna be the way I look now. Oh jeez, my phone! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> so no, no more Kanahanazawa. So cute no, no. though. Oh my god, why won't my phone like go on silent? Stop it! Thank you. Um. Welcome to Full Sense, where you can dream big and make those dreams a reality. Wanna be filthy rich? In Full Sense, even something like that is a snap. Let me guess, you guys came here to get your hands on some of that hers and money, am I right? What hers and money? You came all the way here and you don't know about the hers and fortune? That's a <laughs> rich pal. Here's the story. A long time ago, the big cheese here in Fulton's, Dirk Herzen, found the mother of all gold deposits. There was so much gold you could you couldn't spend it in a lifetime. Then, not too long ago, the old man up and croaked, and now his money sits forgotten in his castle. How's that for an interesting story? Why am I getting Curious Village vibes? Well, I mean, we're in another mysterious town. <laughs> so... Wait, however, we're not here for treasure. Rather, we seek an item known as the Elysian Bot. The who's a what a box? <laughs> That's a new one to me. Okay. Okay, dude. Puzzles here. Oh no, found a hand coin. Okay, whatever. Uh oh, is that the hotel? Uh, well, yeah. Went to the hotel. 
<laughs> nice little detail that you can actually see the buildings we saw from- Oh! <laughs> Is this voice? <laughs> or no? Uh... I thought- did what? I do him or you? No, I did both of them. <laughs> oh god, oh, which one do you want me to do? No, no, it's fine. Okay. Mark my word, Samuel! It's here in the- it's here in town, I can guarantee that! You are to scour every inch of this place and bring it back to me at once, got it? Aw, oh, come on, Unko! Do you really- yo, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> I don't know, it kinda sounds like a lot of baloney to me. Balagna. Balagna. <laughs> Are my ear playing tricks on me? I could have sworn you just told me that my information would run. It was. You're in no position to be lecturing me on the subject. Now, get out there and start looking! Sorry. Okay, okay. No need to blow a gasket. I'm going. <laughs> what do you think Mr. Beluga and the train conductor were talking about, Professor? It would appear that they, too, are out on the hunt for something. Oh, look over there, Professor! What on earth could that be? What the hell? <laughs> what? What it... <laughs> what? It... It's some variety of strange book. Of... of strange book. Okay. Perhaps someone dropped it while running around, uh, running around town. Yikes! Get a load of this crazy cover. What's the symbol on it? Let's have a look. The symbol seems to be a shape of a goat. Well, whatever it is, it gives me the willies. But I do wonder what's written inside. Hard to say with the book locked up tight as it is, isn't it? Still... The symbol is very intriguing. Do we have to find keys to open it? That'd be cool. Say, Professor... Looks like. Say, Professor, maybe somebody in the antique shop over there could tell us something about it. Excellent idea, Lou. Let's begin our investigation there. Oh, the old diary option has been added to the trunk. Oh. Oh, that's the other thing we're missing? Oh, lord. Beluga seems to be working Sammy like a dog, sending him all over town in a frantic search for some unknown item. It's unclear why Beluga would set up a secret train connected to Fullsense, but it's clear this item is very important to him. What could it be? I don't know. The professor and Luke decide to visit the local antique shop. Uh. So to the left. Okay. Left. For some hint coins. Some hint pens. I don't know if you. <laughs> I don't know if you also want to like go backwards, see if there Oops. were any puzzles there, but that's okay. What the frick? Oh, what? Oh, God. Just... <laughs> uh... Let's see if I try to get some puzzles out the way before I talk to you, sir. <laughs> okay, there's one. Oh no! Oh shoot! Oh. <laughs> Let's see, we go back to go back where? Um, around here. Um, I'm not sure if we checked completely if we there were any puzzles here or not. Uh, windows. Oh, oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh! oh, oh. That was two from the hotel building! Yeah, but you know, they got them pennies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was implying, it was stupid. Uh, I don't see anything. Well, let's just head back then. Oh god. Hi, Chelmy. Chelmy, what are you doing here? Inspector Chelmy, where did you come from? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, laddie. Wasn't expecting to see you two in a place like this. After some uh, field work in drop zone, I was able to deduce that the town and the Elysian box are linked. Dr. Schrader had stockpiled quite the stack of research on the Elysian Bond. The criminal I'm in pursuit of more likely than not killed the doctor to get his hands on the box. 
So instead of chasing the man, I decided to chase the box. When I find it, I'll find the culprit. Wow, that's a solid bit of reasoning there. I didn't expect that from the professor. You mean inspector. Inspector, <laughs> sorry. The professor's smart. You're not. You're, you're somewhat smart. <laughs> eh, did you say something, lad? Uh, no, sir. Not a word. Good, because I've got no time for idle chit-chat. I've got a murderer to catch and cart back to London. Come along, Barton. We're leaving. Hmm? I mean, yes, sir! <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> Aw, I forgot about him. Hello, sir. Oh, good day! Are you out shopping for anything in particular? I apologize, but we're not here to shop today. However, I was wondering, have you ever heard of an antique called the Elysian Box? Oh dear, here we go with that box again. You know, you're the third party to ask about it today. The third? Those two detectives you saw were just asking about it, and a half an hour ago there was a young lady. It was Katya. She seemed interested in knowing whether she, anyone had been searching for the box around town. Hmm, can you describe this young lady? Uh, she was quite the beauty. Uh, she wasn't local, but she had a face that just seemed familiar. And the officers, well, they said they were here on an official police investigation. I'll tell you what I've told everyone today. I wish I could help, but this box you're after is news to me. One of my visitors, I forget who, mentioned something about the box having quite a history behind it. If the thing were ever in full sense, it might worth be, it might be worth checking at the Herzen Museum. Where might we find this museum? Just look for the big building in the middle of town, a ways to the north. The museum houses a wealth of documents celebrating the history of our town. This is all extremely useful. Thank you for the suggestion. I'll be sure to pay the museum a visit. Oh, uh, before you run off, would you mind if I take a look at that book you've got there? You feel free, my good man. Hmm. Yes, the construction is quite unusual for a book at this age. Lovely work and very rare, I'd say. Would you happen to know anything about the symbol on the book, its cover? I was just about to comment on how familiar that symbol feels, though it has no significance I'm aware of. I must confess, what drew my eye to the books where it locks. Old gadgets always fascinate me. Its construction is very basic, so you might be able to turn the locks with any old key you stumble upon. As a matter of fact, here, why don't we see if this key does the trick? It's my way of saying thank you for showing me something interesting. Oh wow, already a key. Nice. Oh, many thanks, my good man. Gee, it's too bad we didn't find out more about that book in there. It certainly would have been nice, but we'll have to put the book aside for now. It's time to pay a visit to the Herzen Museum. The professor and Luke decide to visit the Herzen Museum. Okay, I get it. Do we need the little updates? This is becoming more annoying now. Yeah, it's starting to be really frequent too. I think we can actually look in the trunk right now. Old, Old diary. diary. Oh, there's a help on the tea set. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's do the diary first. I am the most enchanting girl at the ball we held last night. Oh, I you met. met. Oh, I met the most enchanting girl at the ball we held last night. These parties are completely a complete bore, and her presence changed and all that. As the Duke's son, the unfortunate reality is that most people are either unnaturally polite or fawning toward me. The girl was real warm and and real, and she treated me like everyone else. It was very refreshing indeed. I do hope to see her again. I had the great fortune of bumping into the girl from that ball again today. She's the daughter of some fancy lord or another, and it shows. Her intellect is matched only by the grace she displays. To be honest, I was quite taken with her and have already started courting her. However, I fear father seems less than pleased with the idea. Aww. Mm. I want to read more. <laughs> I need more. Just break the locks to the diary. Just <laughs> okay, help. Uh, some tea with oasis leaf and a double we dose of. We already have that. Oh. We should already have that. No, you can uh hit help. 
Um, I think it's the second T. Oh, this tea shows the spot. Sweden's got me ready to start walking again. Yay! Oh, I found a hit cut point in the bottom <laughs> of my teacup. <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, so we've taken care of Layden and Layden, um, with their, um, re re respective teas, where they kind of just tell us, can you just put these ingredients in tea? Um, so that's cool. Um, but now it's gonna get a bit more tricky with other people. Um, I think you can turn them. Are you not able to turn them? Hello? I, I, I guess not. <laughs> Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> ah! Okay, alright. Uh... Oh, hey, check that out. That's cool. Because, you know, the shutter uh, button. Oh, there we go. Well, no, um, I think you're able to, like, put that one outward. This one? Yeah, because it looks like the shutter button. Oh my god, hello? <laughs> uh, no, flip it one, uh, flip it ninety degrees right. There we go. Uh, yeah. That. No. Um. You can put those pieces back into the thing so that um it's not in the way. For now, I think we should focus on like the fact that like we know the shutter is gonna be in the middle. Yes. Um, I think one more up. Maybe. Or well, I guess that's fine. I think yeah. Think yeah, it's course, like yeah. locked. Okay. Yeah. And so we just gotta figure out what to do with the rest of these pieces. Uh, I don't remember how to fix cameras. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think a lot of people do, and that's fine. <laughs> well, I'm one of those people who likes to learn how to fix things. Like, I will never waste an money on buying so many, um... Uh... Um, headphones. Mm -hmm. Because I have a soldering kit, and really, it's pretty easy to fix. Um... Um, headphones because it's it's mostly just um, soldering together the copper wire that probably got frayed and disconnected. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll fix that later. Um, There's an interesting thing with the camera if we can fix it. There is. Okay. Yeah. Do we have all the parts? I have no idea. That's a problem. Oh. Okay. I was hoping the trunk said it. <laughs> if like you have enough parts. Uh, Let's go to the museum. Oh, there she is. Oh boy. More tell me. <laughs> Gosh. I've heard all about you, Missy. I know you've been asking around the town about that box. Oh, but I, I just... And before you say anything, I don't care who your dear old dad is. No one's above the law. In my eyes, Anyone now chasing the Legion box move, um, move to the top of my suspect list. No, no, you've got it all wrong. I'm sorry, if you wouldn't mind. What is it, Barden? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Um, yes, about that, sir. Uh, the criminal we seek killed the man to obtain the Legion box, so the village should have it already. The young lady was a culprit. She had no need to ask about the box, in my opinion, sir. Oh, is that so, Barton? <laughs> I don't recall ever asking of, for your analysis uh, of the situation. T terribly sorry, sir. Uh, please forgive my momentary lapse in judgment. I'll just be going now. Barton, get back here this instant! I'll have your nightstick, I swear! Ah! Hey, that's the girl we saw well, back Well, that at happened. The yeah. Jeez. That's the girl we saw back at the station in Dropstone. What was her name? Katie? No, that's not her. I believe you're thinking of Mr. Anderson's daughter, Katia. Oh, yeah, she, that's the one. I would have thought she'd be headed to the same place as us. Hmm. Up to see the music. Okay, so that that is this um 
That's a signal for someone wants to. Oh. Anyway, it's hashing. Wait, what's you say hashing. For someone wants to? Um, you saw those like drops like appearing on the top of his head. I think um, so. That's that's the indication that a random person wants tea, and even if they have a puzzle, they will complain about the tea, and you'll have to like walk out of the area and then walk back in and hope to God that the, at some point he finally stops uh, doing that. Okay. I don't know who voiced him. Oh. <laughs> the <laughs> reoccurring <laughs> character. Now and there's a couple of mugs I've seen before. Hey, I know you. And I know fate, because that's what you brought you, me, and that swell tea set of yours together. Now that we're all reunited, I, sell, I say we celebrate with a cup of tea. Brew me something nice, would ya? You want us to make tea for you? That's right, Wimper Snapper. Nothing fancy. A cup of bell classic would do the trick. It's so easy to make even a baby can do it. A baby with a magic tea set, that is. Anywho, all you need is some oasis leaf, a little brisk berry, and a bell tar and a sprinkle of bell tart seed. Do I have that? Um, you can check. Bell tart seed. Uh, brisk berry, oasis leaf. Wait, yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. Um, Boop. yeah, Bell Classic. Oh, sir. Um, so, yeah, hit serve number one. There we go. Here you go. Fabulous. A smile spreads across the statue of his face. He seems restored and cheerful. <laughs> Not a bad cup of tea, make sure. <clears throat> of course, you wouldn't have pulled it off without my expert direction, so don't get cocky. You know this town is filled with thirsty folks. <coughs> you got the tea set. You got that right. So the way I see it, it's your responsibility to help people. If you manage to help everyone out with tea break, good things will happen. This, I promise. Gosh, Professor, what, can you, what do you think? How much good can we really do with one cup of tea? Oh, a fair bit, Luke. A gentleman never underestimate the power of a cup of hot tea. Hmm. Well, when you put it like that, I suppose it couldn't hurt to spread the wealth. Well, I guess he was acting at the tutorial for, like, seeing people with that. Okay, alright. Well, I think that'll do it for this episode. So, in the next episode, I guess we're gonna head to the museum, help people who need tea, and figure out what the blazes we're gonna be doing. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. And if Noah's told you that they love you today, we do. Much love. Bye. Bye, all.